that's your chop point. <laughs> All right. For inquinty.ca, I'm Paul Ferguson with Brandon Scott of Cold Creek County. Congratulations on the release of Till the Wheels Come Off. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, we're pretty excited. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and I'm so happy that it's finally here. Again, we talked about this on the radio. Walking into a store, your hero's CD, the people you're a fan of, their CDs are there, and there's yours, Cold Creek County. How's yeah, the feeling? It, it truly was an amazing experience uh, growing up. Going to CD stores all the time, just wondering what it'd be like to see your name on that bar or see your name on the shelf, and uh, to actually walk in, especially nowadays because the CDs are, it's even fewer and far between when you see them. So uh, the stores are shrinking. So to come into Walmart, somewhere that I've been a million times, <laughs> and buying CDs, and to see our stuff on the shelf was it was pretty cool. You kind of take a snapshot of the moment in time, and so you totally do. It's uh, it's one of those things that, uh, as a musician, it's it's. Uh, I wonder what that would be like. I, there's so many things that uh, I'm, I'm so fortunate to get to experience, and um, to finally get this, to do this, um, and to see my, our product on the shelves like that is. Uh, it's definitely a moment that it'll stay up here forever, for sure. Actually, I put up a little uh, quirky video of me doing it, so it was uh, it was pretty cool. You're not the first person. I've yeah. seen a few videos yeah, well, like that. The, the guys followed me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats again on that. Anywhere music sold, till the wheels come off in Cold Creek County. Uh, CCMA Week back in Halifax. Uh, you know, you've been to CCMA Week before, but this one had, I'm sure, a bit of a different flavor. Yeah, this one was the first time for the group. And uh, it was it was so much fun. Like we we're the new guys in the in the in the country world, and uh, there's a, there's a good buzz going around about us. And it was fun to finally put faces um, to names we've been told and heard, and to make new relations and hopefully they're long lasting relationships as well. Kind so. of funny. You're right. There is a buzz around you guys in the country industry. So, is there a moment out there in Halifax you remember where? Uh, you know, maybe you did run into somebody that you're a big fan of, a name you've heard, and, and now all of a sudden here you are in that circle. Well, it, you know, it was fun. Um, we went to uh, the MDM party the one night, and actually ran I here. seem to <laughs> vaguely recall. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you were stumbling or if I was. One of us was. <laughs> I think as a team we were pretty yeah. good. Um, and, you know, it was fun to finally, like, everyone was just hanging out there, and it was great to just sit back and chat and have conversations with Gord. Uh, Tebe, guys from Emerson Drive. Um, it was it was really fun just to sit back and just kind of take it all in and kind of be brought into this. Like it's it's almost like everyone was like, hey, come on in, you're part of the family now. And it is a family. Yeah. It's got that feeling, whether it's at our end at the radio industry end or yeah. or the artists. There seems oh, exactly. to be a genuine care and a yeah. concern for everybody. Yeah, Kira pulled me aside. Uh, we were sitting outside the hotel uh, on the way back from, I believe, that party actually. And uh, she's just like, oh, so I guess we're family now. And I'm like, well, I'm like, we're more like your distant cousins. But <laughs> <laughs> just got the we're, invite we're to just, the reunion. Yeah, we're just starting. So <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's really nice because everybody was very genuine. And um, it was really neat having people come up to me, who I was fans of, being like, oh, my God, I love our town. I love like what you guys are doing. It's, it's, it's really neat to have that flip on you. And I had said to a lot of people, and on the radio leading up to the release of Till the Wheels Come Off, I'd had a chance to hear three, maybe four songs you guys have cut. Yeah. There's plenty more where our town came <laughs> from, and people can buy it now. Yeah, you know, I'm shocked, actually. I, I, just looking on the iTunes charts, uh, I'm, a, I'm a nerd like that, and I, <laughs> I look up that stuff all the time. And uh, a song that we haven't even released yet, sitting at like 16 right now in the charts. I ain't had enough of that yet, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, we we really feel that the album is deep and uh, it's got it's got some legs. And uh, if you've loved our town until the wheels come off, we've got lots of stuff to follow it up that I really think people are gonna be into. I think that's a real success story when somebody or enough people have found that track on the album. Kind of lends to the experience of an album. Yeah. And what's becoming more of a singles world. It's cool that people yeah. are still finding the well, unreleased yeah, stuff. Yeah, we were, we, were, we were shocked, actually, because uh, this weekend we had four songs in the top 100 on iTunes, and we were just like, whoa. <laughs> so that was, uh, it's, it's one of those things, those mind-blowing things. Any idea what's coming next? I mean, you guys, in, in the period of time you've had this Cold Creek County thing going, and since you guys came in to do the, the release here for the uh, single Our Town, it's just gone like this. Yeah, it's gone that way really quickly. And uh, it's funny because like, the Toronto Sun put out an ad about us the other day, or a 
article and like talking about like the fast rise and uh, like we're on the fast lane and stuff like that and it's funny because to us it's not the fast yeah lane. there's nothing fast <laughs> about it i've been uh we've been doing this my whole life uh the colker county yeah we're new uh but uh we, we just like we work our, our butts off so it's it's i think it's really helping as to why we're uh, succeeding so well and so fast I'm going to use the line I've heard a million times and used a million times. It takes 10 years to create an overnight success. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. You know, it really does. Yeah, or more. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. <laughs> well, enjoy all the success because you guys have worked so hard at it, just to the point you made. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Our, our ethics haven't changed at all one bit. Um, before we got signed, before any of this, we, we rehearsed five days a week. Um, from 10 to 7 or 8 at night, whatever it is, whatever it takes, um, we put in the hours, and we're still doing that every day. Uh, it's a little harder nowadays to get in the studio every day just because there's so much promotion, especially right now, promoting the new album, which you should go get. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why stop there? Buy the stocking stuffers exactly. now, too. Yeah, Chris was just around the corner. Sure. She's look great in stockings. <laughs> and a lot of them fit in. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Till the Wheels Come Off is available anywhere music is sold. Uh, it's coldcreekcounty.ca, right? Com. Dot com. Yeah, we're okay. going all out and we got dot com. Hey, <laughs> big time now. Yeah, yeah. So on there, people are going to find a link to the ticket sales for the yeah. uh, uh, tour you're on with Tim Hicks and Jason Benoit. Yeah, if, if you head to coldcreekcounty.com, uh, you click on the tour button, there's a link to all our shows, and uh, you can even get your tickets right there on the site. November 28th, Oshawa GM Center. Yeah, that's, that's the closest we get to this area. So hopefully anyone from around here can make it out to that show. Um, if not, I'm not sure when we're going to be back in the area. So that's a, that's a big place, and I'm hoping I see a lot of familiar faces. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, it's going to be loud. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> again, we chatted on the radio. This is the first Cold Creek County tour. First yeah. time you've been on tour. Yeah, yeah, first time. So uh, I can't wait to see and come back with some road stories. Oh, we'll have my. stuff in here. Uh, Please do. Share some. <laughs> we'll pre-record that so we can edit out what we have to. Yeah, exactly. It'll be good. It'll be nice and wholesome. <laughs> Tim Hicks, Jason Benoit, Cold Creek County, all on one ticket November 28th in Oshawa. Have you ever seen a show there? No, I haven't. Beautiful venue. I've heard nothing but good things. Doug's played there before. Uh, he told me it was really cool. So we're really looking forward to it. Awesome. Good yeah. stuff. Continued success. Thanks for doing this. And yeah, again, thanks, Paul. Anytime. Till the Wheels Come Off is available anywhere music sold. Brandon Scott of Cold Creek County.